So you already don't know what going by the title. What's popping? These people try to scam us, and you can't scam us. Can't scam me, fam. My name is Jaquan. If you're a brand new subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your loyalty. So as you can tell by this title of the video, they tried to scam me and it's not going to work. It did not work. Okay? So I'm going to let you guys know what's up. I am recording this video for the second time because my phone wanted to play games. So I'm going to read you out the video. So, I mean the email. So I got an email from Cheek NYC Runway saying that they want to hire me as a brand ambassador and that I was approved. I'm going to put the email right here so you can see. It says approved. Hello. This is the number one way that you can tell that um, it was fake. When they say hello, it usually should be hello Jaquan. It didn't say hello Jaquan. It just said hello. So therefore, I could already tell, okay, this is fake. Or that was a hint that, that this might be fake because they didn't use my name. That means that this is a copy and paste email going to everybody. Um, it says, we came across your Instagram and after showing it off to the runway, da 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 we were, in, we were instantly interested in working with you. They were telling me how many followers they have and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So pretty much... The first thing you should always do when you have, get an email like that, because you have to be able to filter between the fake ones and the new ones, and the real ones, sorry. When you look and you go and look up this company, there's a whole bunch of scam things about it. Scam, 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 scam. And I'm telling you, it's a scam as well. Because when you go through the email and you look, first of all, here it says they have over 178,000 followers. They have over 200 thousand followers a company that is proud to be at two hundred thousand followers would put over two hundred thousand followers they only put 178 that means at the time that this email was made it only had 178 when you work for such a high-end company it, you always have to be updating it and i'm telling you that from a marketing side a marketing student and stuff like that person that does brand ambassadoring you always get company emails they will always be up to date if they're going to put their following in it it's not going to be behind um, they said that they worked with a whole bunch of other companies and stuff like that. They did not really include like what they wanted me to do, um, what I was going to be doing. When you look up the company, watching the different videos that I'll put here that I watched, they did not list, they don't do shout outs apparently and stuff like that. So those are things that you have to be careful of when you're signing to companies. Now that was clearly a scam. Now let me tell you about the brand ambassador companies that I have. I have worked for or that have reached out to me I'm not gonna run the names but I'm gonna tell you one of the names but the other ones I'm gonna tell you what you need to be careful of when you're working for a brand ambassador company and they want you or a company in general not a comp uh, event company but a company that wants to do work for them online when they want you to buy the product you need to look at how much the product is and try to buy the cheapest product on the website because you need to make back the money that you put into it through the commission that you are supposed to earn when you're going into companies like this they hire a lot of brand ambassadors they hire a lot of brand ambassadors they have so many that if they're like let's say for example their cheapest product is a hundred dollars Canadian you as a brand ambassador get 50% off that means that the product costs $50 plus shipping. That $50 is $50 that they are probably getting from a, another thousand or a hundred brand ambassadors. That means that their brand ambassadors make up a majority of their sales because the money is coming from their brand ambassadors. So you're like, you maybe think that you're paying oh, a good price or whatever, but no, you're not. It's coming from brand ambassadors. Sorry about that. It's coming from brand ambassadors. So therefore they make up more, a majority of their money from them. So you need to be careful of companies that you're joining from that stay just like that. Now I'm not saying that all of them are bad, but you just have to be careful of what you decide to go into. Just make sure it's something that you can make money back from. Another thing is, is that when you're signing these companies, if you see that the clothing is $100 or the items are $100, $200, you have to remember that when you get this, you have to buy a product, but also you have to make sure that you have the audience that is going to want these type of products. Because if you have uh, a wide range of 
people, but you mainly have people in the age range of 17 to 25. They're not gonna spend $200 on a watch or they're not gonna spend $100 on one shirt that's not like a name brand t-shirt. So you need to make sure that you're signing and you're going to people that you are okay with being re representing because you are now going to be a representation of that company. If something goes wrong or they don't like their product, they are going to come to you as well as the company. So it does look bad on your part if you sign to a company that mm, it, it's not, it doesn't go so well. So make sure that you sign to companies that you like. Another big tip is sign to brand ambassador and event hiring staff agencies in your local city or even in cities that are close enough for you to travel to. I am signed to my agency right now that is located in Toronto and I do do work for them in Ottawa as well. Working for them, I do in-person brand ambassadoring. So um, any brand ambassadors that I needed for events, launches, um, anything, anything like that. Just those type of stuff. It's very fun, it's cool to do. You're paid on an hourly basis or you can be paid a flat rate to do whatever you're doing in person. It's better to do it that way because you don't have to worry about being scammed or not be getting your money once you know that you're working for a legit company. So I would definitely refer that you, reference that you work for a company like that, brand ambassador wise, to build up if you're trying to get into it, but you don't necessarily know how to do it. When you work for these companies, they still post your Instagram sometimes, depending on your agency. They still post pictures with you in it, so it looks good for you as a person, network, audience, and they have an audience that is going to see your face and maybe your account if they're tagging you. So I would definitely say sign to an agency in person as well if you find that you're having a harder time finding an agency to sign or a uh, brand ambassador company or something to join online. You don't have to do everything online. I don't post, I don't get paid to post the brand ambassador that I do, but I still post it. I have a resume on my Instagram that I will show like here in my highlights that shows all the stuff that I do for, this com for, for my company, but I don't have to post it online, but I choose to to build my resume. Those are just tips to keep you guys safe because I was once a small influencer as well. Now I'm at 10K. 10K in the industry is a very big number. That's a very good way to start off with launching and stuff like that. But you, you start to get a little bit more. So it's better that way when you reach those numbers. But you can always start brand ambassadoring from small numbers of 1,000, 500, it's great. And when you sign to an in-person agency, you do not need a, a big number of following, but a good following number is very important. So remember, image is everything. Networking is everything. And yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Pardon me. I hope I helped you guys out there. Good luck. Shaboom! Why not touch, girl? Why not touch? Me like to brace on it. Me like to brace on it. Brace on it. I'm a like to...